What's up, y'all? This video was made from an old Facebook post that I got from a brother of mine who asked the question, why does flat earth matter? And I'm going to read it and we're going to answer the question today. Before we get into it, I just wanted to make an important announcement. I have another YouTube channel called Bro Sanchez Live. And you guys are missing some incredible live streams if you haven't subscribed. So visit the description area and make sure you subscribe to Bro Sanchez Live. Enjoy the video. Why is Flat Earth important, man? Who cares? That's actually a legitimate question. Basically, what I wanted to discuss was um, why I do what I do. Bro Sanchez, why are you always talking about Flat Earth? Well, just in one aspect, it's what I'm passionate about. It's deeper than flat earth, you see. The discussing and the talking about earth is actually a field of study. But when we talk about space, when we talk about earth, when we talk about all of these things, y'all, it's a field of study. So what I do is I teach cosmology. That's what I think many of y'all get twisted. So let me uh, repeat this question again from my brother he said question why are you trying so hard to preach this flat earth stuff and what does it matter i'm gonna deal with that i don't preach flat earth you teach flat earth and it comes with a hell of a lot of investigating the term flat earth is what's confusing you it's deeper than flat earth again it's cosmology and no one asked neil degrasse tyson hey neil what, what the hell are you always going around talking about the planet for and the stars for? It's because he's an astrophysicist. No one goes to fucking ESPN, excuse my language, and says, Hey, Stephen A. Smith, what the hell y'all doing up here on Ike and Mike talking about sports for all the time? I mean, wouldn't it be stupid? If you had a sports channel and you talked about sports every damn day, that'll be dumb, right? Heck no. It's a sports channel. I study the cosmos. Then I teach what I learn. And until the day I die, that's what I'm going to do. I used to do security. I got tired of companies benefiting off of my smarts, my brain. You see, and when you look up and you see a world that's so deceived, you see that it's a, a need for critical thinking. We haven't been taught how to critical think. So it's deeper than flat earth. I actually teach critical thinking. I don't actually preach flat earth because that would imply that I'm trying to convince you that it's flat. I'm not trying to convince no one that it's flat. I teach cosmology of the ancients and they all taught that it was flat. That knowledge hasn't been taught to us, and there's so very little people teaching ancient cosmology, flat earth cosmology. You gotta ask yourself, they taught you everything in school, but they mocked the ancestors when they talked about flat earth. When you were in school, they taught you about the ancestors. They brought up flat earth, but they taught you to laugh at it. They didn't teach you to investigate flat earth. So there's a lot of things they, they, that they didn't teach us that we're finding out now. And, and because the government is a bunch of liars, a lot of people like myself is coming to the realization that the truth can literally set you free. Meaning that the truth is in demand and those who are delivering it are finding themselves with a huge support group and following. Because in a world of lies, those that come along like myself and speak truth, real people will value those people. So uh, when you ask what's the importance of flat earth, it don't stop at flat earth. The importance of what I do is exposing the fact that our government is lying pieces of shit. They aren't telling you the truth. And yes, you do need some people investigating the bullshit that they give us so we can get the truth out of it. Out of it, Because if you think you're getting the truth, you're wrong. That's all I do. I investigate the bullshit the government give us, and I give us the truth and expose that bullshit. And because of that, a lot of people support me. Now, one of those happens to be flat earth. 
that also happens to be something that I'm very passionate about. You see, as a child, I love the universe. I love the earth. I love the study of the stars. And it don't stop now that I'm older. And in fact, my life is so great because the thing I love, which is the cosmos, I actually get to talk about it. And I actually have a chance in my life now to turn that into an actual feasible living for myself. And I think, <laughs> God damn it, if I do say so myself, I think that's something we should clap about. I mean, think about what I'm telling you here. We got a young man who's doing investigation, and because of that investigation, he's growing a following, sharing that investigation, and waking other people up on that investigation so they can do the same. And the message is simple. The earth that you're walking on is not round. And whether you believe it's flat or round, it's just not what they've been telling us. So if you get nothing else out of the message that I teach on my channel, get this. You've been lied to your whole damn life. And until you do your own investigation, you don't know shit about life. Nothing. You know just enough to get by and raise more zombies. So there have to be some people come along and change the status quo, change the regular way of thinking. You say, why does flat earth matter? Why does globe earth matter? Why does new planet discoveries matter? If NASA finds seven new planets in outer space, it doesn't affect me. I don't give a care. Think about it. The people who say, why does flat earth matters? They never ask NASA, hey man, why y'all keep telling us about these fake ass planets y'all finding? That ain't happened with our taxes. That ain't happened putting food on my, on my plate. NASA's space program is not putting food on your plate. Listen how deep this go. Now NASA's space program ain't putting no food on your damn plate. But flat earthers, uh, letting you know that NASA space program is taking 50 million dollars a day from y'all and you come in a flat earth is saying what does flat earth matter you're not going to the people who taking 50 million dollars from you every day from your children and giving you bullshit fake planets think about this it would be make more sense for us to go to NASA and say listen Stop giving us these fake ass planets. Stop taking $50 million a day from us. And we don't need no damn space program. Because how has that happened you? Tell me how NASA's space program is helping you. Because if their space program is not helping you and you're not asking NASA why the hell they, they taking your $50 million a day, then it's kind of hypocritical. I'm not taking $50 million a day from nobody. I'm making videos telling everybody we getting robbed out of $50 million a day for believing in a damn lie called a globe. You can say, Brother Sanchez, you stupid for believing the earth flat, but until you investigate it, you the fool. It does matter the shape of the earth. And if it doesn't matter to you, Ignore it. Ignore it. I mean, think about it. This is for everybody that ever come in and on any one of my posts on Facebook. What does it matter? What the hell does NBA matter? What the fuck? What the fuck does NFL matter? What the fuck do the Olympic Games matter? What the fuck the love and hip hop matter? What the fuck did a new movie coming out matter? What the fuck do Nintendo matter? What the fuck the PlayStation matter? What the fuck the Oxygen Network matter? What the fuck the Mari matter? Come on, I can keep going with this shit. Telling what the hell does Flat Earth matter? If some shit don't matter to you, ignore it. Listen, y'all, let me tell you something. Soccer don't matter to me. I do not give a fuck about no soccer, y'all. I hate soccer. You think you're going to find Brother Sanchez on a soccer station TV channel saying why y'all playing soccer? 
Think about what I'm saying. I don't like soccer. I can care less about some damn soccer. So why would I be on a soccer field trying to make them stop playing soccer? Evidently, the people that's playing soccer, they care about that shit. Evidently, the people that run ESPN, they care a whole lot about sports. So evidently, if you see me talking about flat earth and earth and mother nature and the cosmos, it's because I care a hell damn lot about the creation and where I'm at in relation to the creator. One thing I won't do is ask Neil deGrasse Tyson, why do you talk so damn much about the globe or the oblate spheroid or the pair or whichever one the fuck it is? Y'all asking the wrong damn questions. Instead of asking me, why does flat earth matter? You should be asking NASA, why the fuck do Pluto, Uranus, and all of that shit matter? If God put it up there, it ain't no need for us to go out there investigating the goddamn thing. Us going out there with big ass telescopes saying, let me see what's out here in space. It ain't going to put no more food on your plate. It ain't going to put no money in your pocket. Just like Flat Earth ain't going to... Oh, I take that back. I thought you had me, didn't you? Flat Earth will put money in your damn pocket. Because what Flat Earth doing is telling you that you're being bamboozled about a globe. So when you accept the globe, you accept people robbing you out of $50 million a day to give you some damn Photoshop shit. So a valid question would be, not Brother Sanchez, why the hell are you asking that or why they raping us? I'll stand on my side and ask the same questions I'm asking. NASA, why the hell y'all need $50 million a day to give us this photo shit? That's the questions Flat Earth is asking and y'all asking us, why are we asking that? Who wouldn't be asking that? If you pay me $50 million a day for some real shit and I bring you back some fake ass Photoshop shit, you would investigate me. You would question the hell out of me. You wouldn't say, why does it matter that it's Photoshop, Brother Sanchez? Brother Sanchez, I know I paid you $50 million for a real picture, but I don't care that you gave me a fake one because the shit don't matter. According to y'all, you pay for a real picture of Earth, you spend $50 million a day, and you get Photoshop, and you let the people keep taking the money from you, and you ask the people who asking those people questions, why the hell are they asking them questions? Why is $50 million a day coming out of my pocket important? That's what y'all asking me. Stay away from shit that you don't like. You know, if you don't like tennis, don't be going watching Serena Williams and shit like that. If you don't fuck with Flat Earth, please don't go to no Flat Earth channels because guess what they're going to be talking about? You guessed it. If you don't like sports, why go to ESPN? Why do that? Don't do that. If you don't like sports and you go to ESPN, I'm telling you now, you're going to see some Negroes dribbling. You're going to see some football. Come on, people. I really got to teach this stuff. Why would somebody ask that? Like, what does it matter? It ain't what does it matter to me, first of all. It's what does it matter to you? And it won't matter shit to a person who haven't done the investigation, who haven't done the research. So it ain't what matters to me. Do the research and you'll see why it matters. And we wouldn't ask those questions. Because for me to make a post and 50 some people like the shit and comment on it and say you're doing a good job, bro Sanchez. And one or two people be like, what does it matter? It's obviously some y'all miss, right? Y'all didn't get the joke. Y'all didn't get it. So y'all need to go back and see what the rest of us saw. What make people say, man, this man doing a good job. Maybe y'all don't get it. 
What the fuck does football matter? I don't care if they win a game tomorrow, it won't feed me. But I bet you you're going to watch a couple of Detroit Lions game next season. And I'm not going to show up in your house or on your Facebook page if you just say the Detroit Lions win and you post it on your page, man. My team just won. I ain't going to show up on your page and say, what the fuck does that matter, man? What the hell does that matter? I don't care that Detroit won. That ain't going to help me. We got a fucked up mentality. And sometimes I think it's hate. If some shit don't matter to you, move on. You don't see straight men hanging around gay houses. That don't matter to them. You don't even see them discussing it. So like, why would you even be on a flat earth channel if it's not in your interest? Because everybody that's on their channel, they're there to hear about flat earth. You think these people will be here listening to me now if they want to listen to somebody else? They're doing it by choice, so it matters to them. Share this to everybody you know who ever asks you, what does this shit matter? Ask them what ESPN matter. I teach cosmology, guys, okay? ESPN do sports. So when you come to me, you're going to get cosmology, and when you go to them, you're going to get sports. I hope I'm answering this good. Um, let me read some more of this. Once your point is proven fact or fiction, besides self-gratitude, what are you looking to gain from this? I'll tell you, I am looking to free as many minds as possible. And just because I did a video today that talked that, for example, that the sun is not 93 million miles away, for example, don't mean that I, I, I don't have to come back another day and reiterate on the same stuff. So, for example, there's going to always be kindergarten classes and first grade classes and second grade classes. As long as we live, there's going to be someone teaching those subjects. Same here. You don't teach it one time and say, I'm done. I don't never have to make another video again. I, le I learned about Flat Earth. I made a video. That's it. I'm done. It don't work like that. Neil deGrasse Tyson teach the globe every day. Christian pastors teach the Bible every day. Math teachers teach math every day. Reading teachers teach reading every day. Sports analysts discuss sports every day. God damn it, I'm going to tell the truth about the flat earth every goddamn day. It just don't make no sense. It's hypocritical, man. I'm getting tired of the dumb questions. We're asking the real questions. Why the hell are we being lied to, being raped? And people asking us the dumbass question. I told you what I'm going to gain from it. I'm going to free a lot of people's minds. I don't really gain. They gain. All right? What I gain is the fact that I'm going to tell you now. Knowing something by yourself can be lonely as hell. Anybody will tell you what I'm talking about. Just say you walking through an alleyway and you see a dead body. You can't wait to tell somebody. You can't keep that shit to yourself. It'll drive you crazy. You got to tell somebody else. Otherwise, you're going to feel lonely. That's what I gain. I gain companionship. I gain fellowship. I gain the opportunity to exchange ideas to people who feel the way that I feel, man. I'm tired of being lied to. So that's what I gain. I gain camaraderie, a community. That's what I gain. Simple stuff. Now, let's move on with this. So he said, or will you be satisfied that you made a factual point? Hell no, I won't. Proving points don't save Mother Earth. Let me repeat. My job is to undo the goddamn lies that they did. Didn't these same people tell you Christopher Columbus discovered America? You found out that was a lie. Well, the same people gave you a globe. I've done my research and found out that's a lie. Don't crucify me if y'all ain't done your research. You will find out they lied about everything. Will I be satisfied that I made a factual point? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That ain't enough. I'm going to be satisfied when everybody that's living a lie know the truth. 
that's when I'm going to be satisfied. So to answer your question, I'll never be damn satisfied in my lifetime, but we're going to move on with some more of your questions. Regardless of conspiracies and whatnot, I don't like the word conspiracy. A conspiracy is when a group of people come together and conspire to do something. Scientific research, that's not a fucking conspiracy, guys. The conspiracy is the globe. These things, that's theories that you can't prove. That's the conspiracy. The government are the ones who got together in secret and conspired to control y'all asses and poison your food and spray you with chemtrails. Now y'all calling the motherfuckers who investigate the, the conspiracy that already took place conspiracy theories. The government had already conspired to create this hellish ass reality you're experiencing today. I can't conspire when I come behind them and say that it's fucked up. I didn't create this shit. I'm showing you that it's fucked up and they lying and lying and lying and you say it's a conspiracy. I didn't conspire. It was a conspiracy when they created this damn country. A group of men got together in the building and they conspired to take over the goddamn Indians. They had, they had a conspiracy. They got together in secrecy and they said, we're going to tell them that we discovered that damn land, even though we know motherfuckers was already on it. But somehow the, the, the motherfuckers who did all the conspiring got y'all calling the motherfuckers who calling them out conspiracy theorists. It's a backwards ass world. Nevertheless, let's move it on along. So look, regardless of conspiracy theories or whatnot, there is other real stuff going on that would have more of an impact on us human beings than proving the earth is flat. Now let me stop there. That's your opinion. There's, that's all your opinion. Because 34 people like this post and they think the opposite of your one little opinion. You got to get over yourself. Alright? It ain't about you. For you to sit your ass up there and say, there is other real stuff going on that can have more of an impact than $50 million a day that's coming out of your pocket. Show all of us flat earthers you have done research on this topic. Therefore, you're not qualified to speak on it. You really should move on to something else until you research the shit, y'all. And yeah, you said shit, ain't nobody fell off it yet, LOL. I like the joke too, don't take this personally. This is my job. I teach cosmology. I'm not playing with this shit. I see kids out there spinning globes and it does something to me, my brother. So I'm making this video and I'm on a rant because I hate this question. And I hate that type of logic. Okay, it's very fucking hypocritical. There is other real stuff going on that will have more of an impact than discussing flat earth. I think before you talk to the flat earthers and tell us that, you need to tell that the Fatty Wap, Young Thug, NBA, NFL, it's so much shit we can be discussing on TV. Think about it. You got mainstream channels that's getting billions of... These mainstream channels getting billions of views every day. And ain't none of these people going to them saying, listen, y'all, the world is crazy. ESPN, you talk about some real shit today other than sports. None of them folks go to the big time TV stations and do the shit that they do to us little YouTubers. We got small YouTube channels telling y'all that the government raping our asses. And people come and say, man, look, y'all can be doing some better. They ain't going, these people ain't going to the damn government that's raping us, telling them they can be doing some better than showing us love and hip hop. Bart Simpson, motherfucking Power Rangers, and come on, people. That's very hypocritical, man. 
you got every fucking channel you turn to is some bullshit on TV, and you got the nerve to tell me it's battle shit I can be discussing. Maybe you need to holler at the damn rappers and ESPN and BET and all of them before you come to little old brother Sanchez. Because what I'm saying ain't going to impact the world like they doing. It don't matter what I start talking about tomorrow. It won't impact the world like the big ass station. So who cares what I'm saying? Why y'all on my channel even giving a fuck? The people who on my channel, they there because they care. If you don't care, don't be there. So listen, if there's some kind of hate in anybody's heart, that shit going to be exposed, man. Because when you ask the questions that I'm asking now, it's really clear that, like, why would you give a fuck? Think about it. Why would you care? If, if you ask me the question... If you say something like, there's other stuff going on that'll have more impact, then why don't you make that impact? I'm making an impact. Every day somebody tell me, Brother Sanchez, I'm grateful you alive. You helped me out. You changed my life. That makes my day. And for all of you who are on my videos asking me what kind of an impact is making, there go your answer. Tell it to the thousands of people who've told me brother Sanchez you made an impact on my life I can show you hundreds of emails right now I take pictures of this stuff because it keeps me going so I'm making an impact I'm making a hell of an impact you don't gain popularity unless you're making an impact and I'm not to my horn that's just a fact I'm making a huge impact as well as many other flat earthers if we wouldn't, people wouldn't even be on our post asking this question. Who goes to Floyd Mayweather and say, Yo, Floyd, why the hell you swinging all them punches, bro? He's a boxer. He's a boxer. Share this video to anybody else ask that dumbass question. Why does it matter why you're talking about it? Because this what the hell I do. This what I talk about. This is my line of duty. This is my expertise. I've been in this field. I've studied this shit. Now I'm teaching this shit. So don't ask no science teacher why they keep talking about science. I'm going to tell you all the compliments and support. Like I say, man, I can't thank y'all enough for the Patreon, the PayPal donations, the support, the emails. Listen, y'all. I don't get it from a lot of people, so the few I get it from, it really makes my day. I'm glad that a few people can see I'm not a mad man, crazy man, that I'm just a passionate young man who owned to some big deception. It means a lot to me, y'all. Some of my own family think I lost my damn mind. But until you investigate, you'll always think that Brother Sanchez is a crazy man. If you subscribe to me on YouTube, make sure you click that notification bell and uh, share this video. Put it out there. There's a lot of people asking this question. Peace and much love. I love all of y'all.